Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today I will be sharing with you how I study biochemistry effectively. Biochemistry is overwhelming. I was approaching the subject in a very wrong way. Today I wanted to share with you guys tips that I have discovered on the way. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the content types within biochemistry. I sort of divide it into three broad types and you can think of it as concepts that you need to understand, some basic facts that you need to memorize in order to understand the concepts and then experimental techniques and logic behind it. The basic facts that you should memorize, these could be the 20 essential amino acids, their abbreviations and some mathematical conversions, etc. You can sort of prepare these beforehand by just memorizing them directly, but I would say you use them more and more often. It just becomes second nature sometimes, but obviously, do prepare beforehand if you can. So then for concepts, I would suggest to actively try to understand it during the lectures. I see lots of people trying to get all their notes done during the lectures, but not actually actively trying to understand the lecture content. I would definitely advise people to understand concepts during lectures as much as you can. When you revisit it, it's way easier and it just sticks in your head. It's like you don't even have to try to remember it anymore because it makes sense to you. Definitely do look at them at regular intervals and make sure you would recognize the protein names, symbols, etc. Obviously, when exams approach, go over the lectures in detail. You need to fully understand it until you know what's going on. And the best way to test that is actually you trying to teach someone the certain concept that you were learning about. Someone asked me about it. Am I able to explain it to them? Do I know what I'm talking about? That's a really good way to test out whether you actually understand something. For experimental logic and details, this sort of comes into play later on in your degree because that's when you know about the most techniques, the most concepts, so you would be tested on the full understanding of how they kind of integrate into each other and how they can be related in the full picture. I wanted to make this clear at the start so you keep this in mind and Make sure you pay attention to any techniques introduced, why are they using certain techniques and what are they trying to test out. This is also often how people structure their research papers um, in the results section. They would address the question being asked and then introduce to you what they found, what techniques. And if you are struggling with reading papers, I will be doing a video on reading research papers, how to read them, where to start, how to understand it. It's just very hard to read. I understand. I struggle myself, but as you read more, you definitely get immune to it. So the second thing I wanted to talk about is prioritize learning during lecture times. I see lots of people during the early years of uni trying very hard to make notes of what the lecturer says and trying to make a full transcript, essentially. I would say this is definitely not an effective learning because you're just copying and pasting of what the lecturer says. You're not actively trying to learn and understand what's going on. What I would suggest is try your best to understand the certain concept being introduced during that lecture. And after you've listened, jot down like a simple sentence to kind of summarize the concept, keywords that makes it easier for you to recall later on and definitely not a transcript of what the lecturer says, please. You might feel like you're missing out on certain content, but fully understanding a certain part, a small part of the lecture is better than not understanding anything. And also since the lectures are mostly recorded, you can always go back to it and listen to it again. If you're attending a lecture, that means you're stuck in the room for an hour or so. So why not just get something out of it, even though, even though it's a small thing, you save yourself from learning that new thing again. So the third thing that I really wanted to bring up is that you need to do active recall. If all you do is looking over notes and highlighting, you would almost certainly overestimate how much content you understand and remember. It is essential to learn the concepts fully. So for the first few times, you could look at your notes and do some writing, highlighting, until you think I'm confident with this and I think I fully understand it. But do I actually fully understand it? That's when you need to test yourself actively. So for me, when I go through content, I would always write a list as I go along. So just a list of key points, which would quickly remind me of what the lecture was about on one A4 page. Never 
go past one A4 page per lecture. And on an A4 page, I don't mean like a very crowded page, just minimal bullet points because you don't want to overwhelm yourself. And also you would want to give yourself some space to sort of recall it whenever you see the bullet points. So this bullet point that you've written down, when you look at it, you should be able to refer to the details that you've learned and that, yeah, so that kind of gives you space to recall the content that you've learned. Point of these notes is that they need to be vague. This vagueness would give you space to recall and test whether you actually understand or remember the information. Along with these notes, I would add some questions on the side. These help me consolidate my understanding. For example, for an enzyme, I would say, why is this cofactor needed and what happens when it's present? Past exams and learning from mark schemes. Many people actually have the wrong approach to doing past paper questions. They think that you need to do these blindfolded. From my experience, I learn a lot more by comparing the past paper question and the mark scheme and learning them side by side. This is when you actually learn the content and also in the language that the examiners want you to answer in. So you're learning both at the same time, how they want you to answer and the content as well. So yeah, learning from the mark scheme is essentially learning the subject in the language that your examiner wants you to describe the content in. One thing that always gets neglected is how the concepts are linked to the practical lab work. I would say that understanding the link would definitely help you understand the concepts much more easier. It will basically feel effortless because you actually know what's going on. You understand what's going on. You don't need to be like memorizing it step by step, facts by facts. It's it's impossible to remember every single detail. So please do make sure that you put some time in understanding the link. Why are certain things happening? Why are you being asked to do certain experiments? What do these experiments prove? What is your hypothesis? What are you testing? And how the techniques help you get the results that you want. And speaking of results, you need to know what outputs certain techniques give you. So for example, outputs could be data, could be a color change, etc. This is certainly crucial for your development as a scientist because you need to know what you're doing in the lab. You need to know you about your experiments, where you should start, what techniques you should choose to use, and why. You need to justify it. You need to understand what's going on, what you're trying to test, what's your hypothesis, and how certain techniques would help you prove your hypothesis through the data that it generates. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you liked the video. I hope this is helpful because I struggled a lot myself when I was doing it. I didn't know how to approach it the right way. I will actually be doing a video on how I take notes for biochemistry lectures, how to make it concise when there's such dense content, so much concepts, so much pathways to understand and remember. Please do let me know if there's anything else you wanted to ask about or if there's anything you're struggling to understand. I would happily help you guys and I'll see you next time.